What's going on everybody? Welcome to this installment of Interaction. A few weeks ago I posted a lesson about Kurt Cobain and modal jazz progressions. And one of the key questions that kept coming up was, do I think that Kurt Cobain was aware of these kind of progressions and used them in his writing? So let's, let's talk about that. So the short answer to that question, my short answer to that question is no. Absolutely not. Not in any sense do I think that Kurt Cobain was aware of any kind of modal jazz chord progression relationships and harmonic functions. Not in the slightest. But I do think that Kurt Cobain was a tremendous songwriter and he was definitely aware of harmonic relationships that he was able to manipulate and that maybe perhaps re resonated with him and he was able to bring that to life in his songwriting process. The lesson that I posted it was just a fun harmonic experiment that I was having fun with. And you can take some modal progressions and twist them around and make them sound like a Nirvana song or something that Kurt Cobain would have written. Or, you know, depending on what you did with that, those ideas that I presented stylistically, you can make, make it sound like a bunch of stuff from that genre or from that era. Now, um, Kurt Cobain was a great songwriter. He was a big fan of John Lennon. So I... So he was definitely aware of, like I said, the harmonic relationships that he was building, but that doesn't mean I think that he knew what he was, or I'm saying that he used these modal ideas and was very much aware of the qualities that he was presenting. It was just a fun experiment, and I hope you have fun doing it. Go find some modal jazz progressions, twist around the, the implied root of all those chords, and see what you can come up with. So, as always, let me know what you come up with, and keep those questions coming. We'll talk about this some more. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.